Okay, I wanted to talk a little today, not about Destiny 2, <laughs> you can see where my mind is, but about the RX Vega, Radeon RX Vega, and the NeoGAF bullshit about it. I mean, you guys know I despise NeoGAF. I despise this fucking forum, even though, paradoxically, I look at it all the time because it's a good aggregator of gaming news. But, uh... But one thing I really hate about them is, oh, you know, besides they have vicious hate for a lot of things like Xbox, conservatives politically, you know, <clears throat> and they're just so vir vir virulent is the word about it. They're so zealots, you know, they're just consumed with this rage, hate for things. Xbox, conservatives, you know, <clears throat> not to mention the whole capricious and arbitrary mod staff. The evil owner, evil lord, Tyler Malka, you know, who encourages his mod staff to be as capricious and arbitrary as possible. It's part of their terms of service. And he has an active moderation policy, which means if you're a mod there, he wants you to ban people. He wants you to get interfered, which, you know, most forums do that anyway. But he's he's an evil, evil guy, <laughs> evil lord. Uh, no pun intended. And, uh, but the thing about it is, is Evil Lord will say, oh, I saw an interview with him once where he said, we ban people at the first sign that they're going to act like a, like a typical comment on YouTube. But the funny thing is, is there's more trolling on NeoGAF than anywhere. That, that's the funny part. It's just sanctioned, it's sanctioned and, uh, you know, encouraged trolling. It's it's the right kind of trolling. You got to troll Xbox. You got to troll conservatives in the off-topic forum. You know, so it's not that there's no trolling on NeoGAF. There's you know it's it's the worst hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> I think to borrow a Cliffy B term, there is. It's just uh, <clears throat> and like I said, the mod staff is completely arbitrary and capricious. They, you know, they don't even pretend to have any standards or care. And it's funny, they're liberals, so they believe in all this old free speech. Old, and then on the other hand, they want to have it where, oh, this is private property. We can do whatever we want and ban everybody. You know, they don't even agree with private property. They're fucking communists. But they want to hide behind, oh, this is a private website. We can ban anybody. There's no free speech. That's true. But it's, you know, it's hypocrites because they don't support private property. They don't, you know, they'd rather have the government control everything, you know. So it's kind of hypocritical. All of a sudden, they want to hide behind this is private property. It's a private website. Bunch of fucking bullshit. But anyways, and these guys, they hate Vega, and it just makes turns my stomach every time I read a thread about AMD Vega, because the same fuckers that just hate AMD with everything they have, that have been on NeoGAF for 15 years, spitting at AMD every chance they get, they come in, they oh, Vega is a huge. Dead. Oh, what a flap. Ah, it's not doing good. You know, like, Vega is dead either way. His comment, uh, funny thing is, I wanted to just, uh, I looked up AMD stock price, which, by the way, here it is, 1411. And look at the after hours. I don't know why, but maybe they just had their financials. And, uh, <coughs> it's up 10% almost after hours, 1542. Look at it in the five five year chart. It's nothing but way up. It's gone huge up since you know 2016. I saw like for over the last over a certain period, like a certain last year or something. It was the number one gaining stock in the S and P 500. I mean, I very distinctly remember. Look, in 2016, it was about two bucks. It was in the dollars in 2015. So you could have bought it in 2016 for two bucks. And you could have made seven times your money right now. <coughs> you you could have put twenty thousand in AMD stock in early two thousand sixteen, <coughs> and you'd have forty grand right now. I mean, uh, one hundred and forty grand right now. Like I said, the number one stock in the S&P, rising stock in the S&P 500, I read at one point. And what did GAF do with this news? 
they completely ignored it the whole time. I never saw a single topic about this. If this was NVIDIA, if this was one of their Nintendo, anybody, their favorite companies, God forbid Sony, you know, it would have been just every fucking day there would have been a thread about how amazing the stock was doing. <coughs> AMD, they completely ignored it, you know. The fact that AMD is succeeding big time as a company right now, you know, huge. Look, I mean, their stock is up gigantically. And like I said, it obviously looks like it's taken a huge leap after hours today, up almost another 10%. And that would be all-time highs because it looks like the high was 14.55. It's at 15.45. But I mean, look at this chart. It's just nothing but a straight up. <coughs> but NeoGAF, comp and you know what that means? That AMD is being hugely successful right now. But, but NeoGAF doesn't want to talk about it. They completely ignore this. And oh, figures are bomb, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, the, for, I, I wanted to say a few things. First of all, we have some new Radium Vega benchmarks. Here we go. <clears throat> this is an overclocked 1080, I guess. Here's another thing GAF always does is, you know, NVIDIA can overclock like crazy and, and AMD can't overclock for shit. That's bullshit. AMD can overclock just like NVIDIA can. Now, a lot of times NVIDIA can clock higher, but it's not huge. And a lot of the tech websites are the same. They're also usually heavily biased towards NVIDIA. They make the same lies, you know, that only NVIDIA can overclock, basically. <coughs> so you're looking at an overclock 1080 there. And some fire strike scores for Vega. Clocked where it's supposed to be. You see it's... Now, I don't know if these are final. There could be final drivers. There could be final memory clocks higher. Or what have you. Could eke a little more performance about it. But basically this tells you it's, it's on par with a, a GTX 1080. Now, is that a fail in one sense? Yeah. But we've known that it's not. That it's going to be 1080 level for months now couple months it's been pretty solid so nobody should be surprised at this point but all the neogaf trolls are going to pretend to be surprised now is it disappointing in the sense that amd should have done better yes but at the end of the day here's what's funny about neogaf they did the same thing about the ryzen cpus although those were a huge success uh you know these people act like if AMD comes out with a new product and it's not faster than NVIDIA's fastest, then it's a giant fail. But they never look at the fact that AMD's come out with a new product and it's faster than anything AMD had before. It can only improve AMD's situation. You know, that's the thing about Ryzen. Like, I think some early benchmarks came out where Ryzen wasn't looking that great or something. I don't even remember. Of course, NeoGAF hates AMD with everything they have, so they jumped all over. Oh, Ryzen's a flop, right? I was like, back then, of course, the Ryzen turned out to be a really successful, great performing product. But based on those rumors, I was, I mean, I, I, my point was it had to be way better than Bulldozer. How, how can it not improve AMD's standing? Like, if you, regardless of even the competition, you'd have to look at the competition. But if you've got product X out in the market now, and you come out with product Y that's 50% faster or 100% faster, let's say 100% faster. Even if NVIDIA's got a product or Intel's got a product that's even a little faster than the new product from AMD, don't you see that it doesn't matter that in a in a vacuum the AMD has only improved themselves? You know, the, they've got a more powerful product that they can sell for more money. It's only an improvement. But what the trolls on NeoGAF always want to do is like, oh, it's not as fast as the Intel super fast you know ten thousand dollar chip it's garbage it's not as fast as the nvidia highest end card it's garbage just look at the market right now the fastest amd current generation card is the rx 580 and the fastest uh the fastest uh card the amd has is the uh Fury X, which uh, is only four gigabyte RAM, which is kind of inadequate right now. You know, it's a it's an old generation card. It's old. 
<laughs> so it's not really too viable right now. So they're coming out with a new card that beats every, be, basically let's say it ties the 1080. So it's tied for a second. O only card that NVIDIA has that's faster is the 1080 Ti then. One card. You know, it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> Just because they NVIDIA has the fastest car, now AMD has something much better. I mean, much uh, more powerful than anything they had before. It's only an improvement. But NeoGas is just going to paint it as, oh, what a dud, what a flop, what a, you know, and in some senses it is. It's power hungry. It's this and that, you know. All the same shit they always fucking say. It's the same shit they said about the RX 480. You know, on and on. Okay, like, it's faster than a 1070, you know. So that's my point. It's, this is only going to improve. Now, they're going to have to sell it fairly cheap, and it may be a big die. And it, You know, and like I, I'm not saying that it's not a little disappointing in a lot of senses. <clears throat> but it's better than what they had by a long shot. It's going to be faster than any AMD card ever produced before. <clears throat> it's going to be faster than every single, you know... <clears throat> Think of all the cards that NVIDIA makes. It'll be like 10 of them, right? The 1070, the 1050 Ti, the 1050, the 1060, the 1063 gigabyte, the 1060. Out of 10 NVIDIA cards, there's one, one that's faster than the Vega, <laughs> you know? So they just, you know, started competing in huge segments of the market they couldn't compete in before. Now they, you know, if the, there was probably three NVIDIA cards way faster than anything AMD had before. The 1070 the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. Now there's one. They're, now they can compete with the 1070 and they can compete with the 1080. And they get a lot closer. My point is, so many times NeoGAF acts like when AMD introduces a new higher performing than anything before product, that it's a, because it's not up to some expectation, it's a huge fail and it's awful and so on and so forth. My point is it can only help them, you know. Here's another thing they're doing right now. They were making threads last year about NVIDIA Volta. You know, they're always making these rumors that NVIDIA's next thing's about to come out and it's a, you know, it's on 10 nanometer or whatever and it's going to blow away everything. And these fucking things never happen. They made a thread and they claimed NVIDIA Volta was supposed to come out, I think, May of 2016. NVIDIA Volta is still not out more than a year later. They're so full of shit. And they're acting like NVIDIA's just got NVIDIA Volta ready to go, but they're just not going to release it now because there's no reason. No, you idiots. It was never ready. They don't have it. They're not that far ahead of AMD, you fucking morons. You know, in their little dream world of NVIDIA is perfect, NVIDIA's just holding this Volta that can just crush. You know, it's four times as fast as anything currently. <coughs> and, and NVIDIA's just going to be like, no, we don't want to make all that money and and bury AMD's graphics cards even more. We're just going to hold it back. You know, they live in some la-la land where they actually think that's true. What a crock of shit. <laughs> there is no Volta that's capable of being released soon. NVIDIA can't release a faster GPU. Period. They want to release a faster GPU. They cannot. You know, fuck you NeoGAF. <clears throat> You know, I hate their attitude that, like, NVIDIA's just sitting on it, and since Vega was disappointing, they don't have to do anything. No, it's not true at all. Poor Volta will have no competition. Poor Volta doesn't exist, you dip. You know, when it comes out, let me know. <laughs> oh, man, that's sad for us consumers. Yeah, another card that's... Pro now, NVIDIA is going to have to price this thing. I, I, I don't know. I'm not up on video card prices, but I think the 1080 Ti or 1080 was priced at 490 according to some chart I saw. Basically 500 So probably to get a lot of sales because they figure this is going to be fast and cheap. It's probably going to be like a 399 ish card. It's going to be cheaper than, than the 1080, I would imagine. If it's the same speed, because sadly there's so many NVIDIA fanboys, that that's what AMD typically has to do. But, I mean, first of all, it has more teraflops also than a 1080 Ti. It has like 13 teraflops, and 1080 Ti is like 11.8. So once again, they've got more brute strength than anything NVIDIA has. And typically their cards age better. The drivers get better and better, and NVIDIA's drivers don't get better and better. 
because it, NVIDIA cards have less teraflops to play with, so they're kind of like trying to make uh, mountains on a molehills teraflops wise. <laughs> They just don't have the brute force AMD always has. So AMD can always improve more later. But yeah, so. Um, I mean, so yeah, just just seeing through all the usual NeoGAF hypocrisy. Coming out with a faster car than you've ever had before, significantly faster that you can charge more for is good. It's not bad. Stop pretending it's bad, NeoGAF. NVIDIA Volta doesn't exist. NVIDIA can't come out with it if they want to. You know, good luck, like, coming out anytime soon with NVIDIA Volta. You might see it in 2021, you know. You shit said it was coming out in May of 2016. Well, you lied. You know, why don't we go like, oh, NVIDIA, what a huge fail. They don't have Volta. They said it was coming in May 2016. It's still not out. Oh, it's a debacle over there in NVIDIA. Oh, NVIDIA's failing. Where's Volta? They said Volta was coming. That's what they'd be doing if it was AMV, AMD. You know, what about these delays, these incompetent delays of Volta? That's what, if it was AMD Volta, that's what they'd be saying. But anyways... Now, I did want to criticize AMD on my own, though. To me, I don't know, the Ryzen was a really good product, so the engineering on that side is looking great, you know, especially considering how much less engineering resources AMD has than Intel. You know what I mean? So, Ryzen was awesome. Now, it looks like right now, the Radeon group is not doing so well. Now, they put in a new CP, uh, CEO, though. I forgot his name, Raja something. Some Indian guy. Now, th these video cards are years in the making. So, I, I imagine this Raja guy had nothing to Raja Kajori or something like that. He had nothing to do with the Vega, really. And, it, you know, it'll be three years before you really see cards that he helped, probably. Or that he supervised. But my point is, the Vega does look like a flop. First of all, it has 4,096 SPs. Right when I saw that, it's like, holy smokes, like, that's not enough. What are you thinking, AMD, you know? How do you make a high-end card with the same amount of math units as your previous high-end card? Like, that's so stupid. Did no one go, wait a minute, we probably need to have more, because I'm pretty sure NVIDIA is going to have more. And if you're going to beat NVIDIA, you got to shoot for the fucking moon. I would have told, you know, 8,000 SP. You know, maybe there wasn't room on the chip and all that. But you gotta have some aggressive targets. What are they doing? Now they clocked it high, so you get like, you know, the the, the clock on the Fury X was I think around a gigahertz, and so they clocked the Vega at sixteen hundred. So you're getting that, you know, you're getting sixty percent speed up there. But it's not enough, you know. What are they thinking? The four thousand ninety six XPs was gonna be enough? That's ridiculous. You gotta be not be stupid. Name higher than that, you know. Did you think an, an NVIDIA was going to come out with a card that was the same speed as their last one or something? And you said so you're going to be able to take them over? I mean, what the heck? <laughs> Second big problem is HBM memory. They've done this two high-end cards now, and it's it's being a disaster. And NVIDIA's just sitting back there using GDDR5. And the whole HBM, by all indications, HBM is the reason these AMD cards aren't coming out on time. And they got to stop this. You know, fuck this HBM shit. Get off it. There's no reason for it, you know? MSI, I mean, then why is NVIDIA coming out GDR5 cards that are cleaning your clocks and speed? You gotta stop, you know? It's bad engineering when a company just focuses on something stupid. Like, what are you worried about HBM for? It's delaying your cards six months to a year, and then they're not any faster because of it, you know? Stop being stupid, AMD. <laughs> And uh, it reminds me a lot of Xbox. Xbox had a uh, engineering like fixation with a, a amount of on die memory for a while, and it crippled. You could argue it was a moderate success in the Xbox 360. I still think it was a fail because if they could have used those resources for uh, shaders. You know, they could have built something that was way faster than PS3. 
but they especially blew it on Xbox One because that thing has a bigger die than the PS4, yet it's significantly slower. And they went through all these hoops to have this ESRAM memory on board that's fucking useless, you know, and it also makes programming a lot harder. And it was a disaster, and that was the engineering reason Xbox One sucks, basically. And I could just see for two generations there, the Xbox engineering team just had this fixation with we got to put a piece of ED RAM or ES RAM on our chip, and and all it did was hurt them. You know, stop doing that, you idiots! And they finally came along, and because they had to with Xbox One X, got rid of the stupid ED RAM only because Phil told them make the most powerful system, and they couldn't make the most powerful system with the ES RAM. So AMD's like hang up over HBM is kind of reminding me of Microsoft's hang up over embedded RAM. You know, get over it. Stop being dumb. It's killing you. <laughs> but yeah, Vega, don't listen to the bullshit. First of all, with the Bitcoin mining the way it is now, you won't be able to buy one of these anyway. You know, and AMD cards are much more popular than Nvidia cards for Bitcoin. Gaff ignores that. Uh, so you know. These will be sold. They never mention these will be sold out. You know, unless the Bitcoin craze dies off, these will be sold out for the rest of the century anyway. You know, <laughs> so how can it be exactly a flop? Second thing is, like I said, now you've got something fast. You're much more competitive. You've got a route for the AMD guys to go higher. You know, it's only good. Is it all? You know, is the HBM dumb? Yes. Is it all it needs to be? No. But still. So that's my thoughts on the AMD Vega.